God, I'm sweating everywhere. This is going to be gross. Hi, if you don't know who I am, my name is Liam, and on this channel I do a whole bunch of different pop culture related stuff. One of the series that I'm doing at the moment is where I have a look into drag queens that have never been on RuPaul's Drag Race, that are outside of the Drag Race realm, and these are all drag queens that you, you little cutie, have suggested. And today we're looking into plastic. Tiara. Okay, so Plastic's boy name is Duc Tran, a boy from Vietnam who uh, now lives in Texas. She is 18 years old. Well, actually 19 years old. The talent in this one little human is incredible. So Plastic is also a hairstylist at 18 years old. Duke is hot in and out of drag. I mean, am I allowed to say that about a 19 year old? That's legal, Liam, you're 24. That's not, is that creepy? So Plastic got into drag just because she wanted to try it and get into it, bought a bodysuit, bing, bang, boom. We have a woman, a real biological woman. <laughs> Learn makeup, simply taught herself, uh, is an amazing makeup artist. Well, we're gonna look at some more photos later, but some will be scrolling as you're going, and as you can see, the bitch has got talent. And I'm yelling at you. There we go. So the drag name Plastic Tiara came from where every good drag name comes from, the My Little Pony series. Do you know the character uh, Diamond Tiara? You know her? That's the inspiration. But Plastic was added because it was kind of like plastic. And I know that my accent is destroying Plastic, but it sounded like plastic. It was simply to be different because a lot of drag queens have the name Diamond in them. Not that that's a problem or anything, but Duke wanted to be different. Go girl. So first night in drag, Duke went out as Plastic Tiara and slayed a very first talent competition just by going up there. And a star was born. It, some people uh, are too talented and fall into what they're supposed to do and make me jealous, but I'm so happy. <laughs> so in a lot of cases, we hear about drag queens and their parents and their relationships. Unfortunately, uh, Plastic's family is not too accepting of what he does. Uh, and well, I mean, she's very young. You get what I mean? So there is time for her parents to grow into understanding that God damn is she talented, which by the way, Plastic has been to DragCon this year and there's a couple videos going around and I'll put some of them up as we're going. So hopefully her parents are seeing like the creative genius that she actually is and how talented she is, not only as a makeup artist, as a female impersonator, but also as a performer, as a dancer. I mean, some of these videos, the death drops and the splits, Laganja is shaking. Something super cool is that L Alyssa Edwards is Plastic's drag mother, which I don't really know if there's some kind of ritual that you need to do or if it's kind of like, hey, I see you, I see that you're talented and I want you to be under my name. Is that kind of how it works? Or is there like a satanic ritual where people like bake you to death or something? Nevertheless, Liz Edwards is Plastic's drag mother. I don't know what that means. What does that mean? If you know what that means, let me know what that means. Because in my mind, originally, a drag mother was someone who put you in drag for the first time. Like my drag mother for instance, <laughs> for instance, is Felicity Procaccino. If you haven't seen that documentary, I'll put a link in the description. That's what I thought a drag mother was, but Plastic Tiara did this, did this, this first to herself. So how is Alyssa Edwards her drag mother? Uh, let me know. I want to get into the question, will Plastic Tiara be on RuPaul's Drag Race? Now, so as a disclaimer, before I get into looking at some of the Instagram photos and the videos, I want to say that by no means is a drag queen's level of success uh, measured by whether or not they get onto RuPaul's Drag Race. That is not the case at all. This is a purely about looking at new queens that haven't been on RuPaul's Drag Race and then maybe looking into the idea of them being on RuPaul's Drag Race. So then we can say, wow, we saw them before they were on RuPaul's Drag Race. You know what I mean? Not all of them will be on RuPaul's Drag Race and a lot of them don't need to be on RuPaul's Drag Race. But in this case, there's a bit of both here. Plastic Tiara doesn't need to be on RuPaul's Drag Race, but goddamn, I will put I would put money on this because she is ticking all of the goddamn boxes. Oh, and also, before any of you little smart Alex come in here and say, you can't be on RuPaul's Drag Race unless you're over the age of 21, honey. Stop, I've done my homework. You can be on RuPaul's Drag Race now if you're over the age of 18. It was originally 21 before season seven and then Absolute Vodka was dropped and then so was the age range. So don't come for me. So that means she lives in Texas. She's at the legal age limit. It could happen. You nasty. So this first photo, it gives you a real look of how like, um, that is, <laughs> okay. I do, I make it a point not to uh, compare drag queens while I do these videos. But a lot of the time when I've been researching Plastic Tiara, it's come off that she looks a lot like Miss Fame. And this photo is her next to Miss Fame. So she's the one on the right. <laughs> 
<laughs> Miss Fame's the one on the left. Um, I think you know what? The only way that will, uh, the only way that I'll speak that she looks like Miss Fame is only to say that her makeup is amazing because Miss Fame is known for being like an, an amazing professional makeup artist. So if anything, it's a compliment. I hope I'm not comparing. That that photo is comparing. Her makeup's flawless. I'm not comparing. So yeah, she was at DragCon 2017. This is a biological woman. There is so much fish happening here. And that looks like promo for season 10. Also, this is Dook. So any of you guys out there that don't want to be creepy and gawk at this 19 year old, go for it. I will not gawk, even though I've already gawked. As you can see, she knows how to take a goddamn photo and play with these colors. The makeup is one of the biggest things that I want to say about plastic. She has so, such good makeup. There's actually a video you should go watch, I'll put in the link in the description, where she does a friend of hers, uh, does them up in drag for the first time. The talent, I wish I could do like 2% of what she can do with makeup. I mean, have you seen my face? Ugh, don't go and look at my old videos. Don't go look at my old videos. Her performances are really energetic, full of life. If she was to be on RuPaul's Drag Race season 10. That would be uh, anyone that came up against Plastic in a lip sync competition. That is an assassin right there. She'll split, she'll death drop all over your dead corpse. She can move. I mean, look at this human being. That waist could go for Violet Charge Sheet. Humming for everyone. I mean, can you see why I really, I'm like throwing my money at the bet that she'll be on RuPaul's Drag Race? If it's not season 10, it'll be at some point in the future. And she does want to be on RuPaul's Drag Race as well. There's this post on Instagram that says, when do you want to be on RuPaul's Drag Race? But they don't let people with, that are 18 be on there. That was a while ago. I did my homework. I know I'm right about this one. And mind you, we haven't had someone on RuPaul's Drag Race yet be 18, obviously. Um, but, well, they'll be a little older than 18 when, when Plastic Tiara gets there. I think it'd be really nice to have someone so young come on and just kill the competition. And even though she's only 19, she's really Polish. Like, hello? Oh my god. So this is like a little bit of boy here. So pretty. The photo is pretty. <laughs> what is wrong with me? Holy cow, I haven't seen this one. Oh my gosh. That's like... Kesha and her praying music video had her wings clipped. That's beautiful. Look at the hairstyling. I mean, I know she's a hairstylist, but look at what she can do with- I wonder if that's her real hair. That might be Dook's real hair because his hair's quite long. So he could possibly do that. I don't know if that's a wig or not. Visual- Oh, so goddamn good. I mean, even- He's a bit of a model, like, in and out of drag. Like, look at this. Look at those glasses. I want those glasses. So stunning. So stellar. Also, if you watch the video clip where he does his thrown up in drag. He's got a really good funny personality. Reminds me a lot of Edward Avila. Have you guys- I, I'll put his link in the description. He's a makeup artist. He's a really, really crazy makeup artist. Reminds me the personality a lot of that like goofy nature. I would love to see that being- that kind of goofy nature brought to RuPaul's Drag Race. Which actually, you know what, if someone like um, Plastic Tiara was to come on, I think we would definitely be entering this new age of RuPaul's Drag Race where a lot of queens are coming in that are really young, that have almost grown up with RuPaul's Drag Race on the TV and I think it would be extremely interesting to see how that went. I would love that. It would be a whole new era. A whole new dawn. Okay guys, so I hope editing Liam has been putting videos over this entire video so you've been able to see some of her dancing and lip syncing and all that kind of stuff. I seriously think that in the future, it may not be season 10, it might be season 11, but I guarantee you that we will be seeing Plastic Tiara and RuPaul's Drag Race if they want to be. I get the impression from what I've seen that Duke is interested in being on RuPaul's Drag Race. Um, again, I want to reiterate that it does not mean that you are 100% successful if you go on RuPaul's Drag Race. You don't need RuPaul's Drag Race to be a a, an amazing successful drag queen. I mean, just look at Pablo, okay? Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new to this channel, I do a bunch of RuPaul's Drag Race related stuff. I do a bunch of pop culture -y game videos, all that kind of stuff. And if you're interested in those things, you will definitely love this uh, channel and you should hit the subscribe button, which is just right down below there. It's like this little rectangle that says the word subscribe. If you hit that button, I'll pop up in your subscription feeds. Maybe every now and again, depending on if that algorithm has fixed itself. Either way, I'll be here every week. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this and uh, I will see you in a couple days. Bye.